Hi, Sonny. Hi, Zach. So, what are your thoughts on religion? Well, I've grown up going to church, so I've always believed in God. I don't. The Big Bang Theory and all. The theories of the universe. The Berman household. Hey, Miss Berman? Yeah, it's Zachary Graff. Um, is Sunny there? No, Zachary, I'm sorry. She's not here right now. Can I take a message? Oh, no, no message. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Mom, I feel so bad. It's okay. Oh my god, why are you just talking to Zachary Graff? He's such a loser. He's such a nerd. He's brilliant. Um, okay, so, um, since we're finally at your house, um, I kind of have to ask you something. Yes? Um, will, will you marry me? Listen, listen, I know you don't love me, but I can love enough for the both of us. I promise. I can. I can love enough for the both of us. No, Zach. Why? Just please. <laughs> no. Wait, well, just see if it fits. Just see if it fits. Just No. Come with me. My car's parked in the alley. No, I can't without my parents knowing. Just come. No. Yes! I still like love enough for both of us! No! <laughs> to whom it may or may not concern, I, Zachary A. Graff, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare that I have taken my own life of my own free will, and I hereby declare all others guiltless as they are ignorant of my death, of the death of the aforementioned, and the life. Zachary A. Graff. Hello? Wait, he's dead? Okay, bye. Tobias, I haven't seen you since high school. How have you been? Good, Sonny Berman. How have you been? I go by Barbara now, but congratulations on your play. Oh, thanks. Considering that we were Zachary's two best friends, I think it's important that I tell you something. Will you meet me at the Grand at four? Yes. All right, see you then. I think you should read this. Zachary wrote this to you. I thought he loved me. Everyone loved you, Barbara. You were that type of lovable person. But actually, he loved me, and I loved him. I, just as a high school boy, I was too scared to show it. I wish I told him, but now he's gone. What? <laughs> She hadn't been queen of the senior prom. She hadn't even continued to be a Christian. The irony had not escaped Barbara Berman that, in casting away his young life so recklessly, Zachary Graff had freed her for hers.